Our project is titled Water Detection in JP4 Jet Fuel Storage Systems. The three storage systems we used in this project was a 25,000 gallon tank, a 5,000 gallon truck, and a 400 gallon dozen. The purpose of this experiment was to find which storage system held the least amount of free water in it. These were the materials we used. We used forceps, a syringe, an 800 milliliter beaker, an AEL pad, a water detector kit, an AEL pad holder, and an inline sampler. Now we will walk you step by step through our procedure. First we cleaned our equipment. Next we removed the AEL pad from the wrapper. With the forceps, place the AEL pad in the holder. Press the pad holder together tightly. This tank and we took it from a truck. We had a picture but it didn't show up. Well, that's and, and that's how we took our sample. I see. And so this was this type of container was the most effective for a yeah. Yeah. Or it had less water. How does water get into the fuel in the first place? Any idea? Okay. There's already, you know, dissolved water that's already in the fuel, but because of when the temperature heats up the condensation gets inside each one. And that's why this one's the most effective because of how big it is, its volume. And on the bottom of it, you can't see it, but it's yeah, protected it's on the protected. bottom. It's protected. Yeah, and that's another reason why. Because, like this one, it's not protected in the trunk, it's not protected. Right. They're all storage, though, that are, that's exposed to the air. There's none, no underground storage like there is a filling station. No. No. It's a service station. Do you know if service stations use this kind of a test? Uh, we didn't. We didn't. We no. didn't have part of that experiment. How did you do your, your, your typing on your visual over here? The this black. Yeah. How oh, we have my mom from work. She brought a typewriter home. Typewriter home. It's like a typewriter. And then you print out and then you cut it. It's all like this. It looks and we centered it. And this, you said, belongs to your dad? Yeah, this stuff we brought in. He, 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 this is from his laboratory? And yeah. I see. Now, would a person using this work for an airline? Would they work for the airport or the government? Or they who? just work for the government. Like, um, they do this stuff for a living. They take fuel and stuff, and they sample. So they probably are, they're not employed by the airline. Show sure, are no. uh, an outstanding project, uh, Brent, you too. Why don't you tell next year's eighth graders what they can do to improve projects? Start very early. Uh, make sure you make sure you Don't prepare well. and make sure you have a good oral speech. Start early and pick a project you really want to do.